So what's up guys today i'm just giving you guys a quick update on the nova blast i know i talked about it about a month ago and we all pre-ordered i well, don't know all of us but i know i pre-ordered mine in december of last year and now it's august now i know they had some hiccups and some snags when it came down to the db15 ports being in the front and a lot of people myself included didn't like that so they moved them i can't remember if they took them out completely or they moved them around to the back but in the front all you have is just the 3.5 jacks which people can live with then it was another hiccup they had with another part of the machine and basically they delayed us and told us it was going to be their initial release was supposed to be april but i kind of had a feeling that that wasn't going to happen because they were still taking pre-orders and stuff and then it said july and july came and went and now it's august and the last thing i heard from them on social media was they already had a shipment of them on the boat on its way to the warehouse in the united states and what's supposed to happen is and I'm thinking they're going by, now I'm not sure about this, but they might be going by a first come first serve basis. Whoever pre-ordered at the beginning, they'll be the first ones to get their machine off that shipment. And I gotta admit, I'm chopping at the bit for this thing cause it's been like, it's been about give or take nine months now since myself and a lot of people pre-ordered this thing. And I admit it can be frustrating. However, what I do wanna say is that I'd rather them wait and fix everything and ship me a complete premium product then them rush, get it to me in like July, and then I got bugs in it. And then they got to send me parts to repair it. So one of the incentives I think they did, which is a nice touch, um, they added some tokens. So I don't know how many is going to come with your machine, but I'm guessing at least, you know, 20 would be nice. You know, that way I don't have to just put two tokens in. Then when I want to play again, if I'm stumped, I got to reach into the machine and pull the tokens out. So about 20 tokens would be nice. If you can't beat a game with 20 tokens, unless you're playing Mortal Kombat 2, you should be able to beat a game with 20 tokens. But from what I've seen so far with them, I mean, at least they've been, their communication can be a little better, but for the most part, at least they're making some effort to let you know where everything's going. Now, it'd be fair to say some people just gave up on the machine and want their money back. I understand that, but guys, and they're not paying me in no kind of way to say this. This is my personal feelings for the machine. It's gonna be a cool piece of equipment. It's gonna be premium, it's gonna be def and definitely worth your money. If you just got the bar top, it's gonna be probably one of the best bar top experiences bar none you can get with a simple fact that you could put whatever you want to put in it it accepts JAMA boards and and the controls are pretty much set up to take pretty much anything you can throw at the machine and if you got the whole cab that's even nicer because now you have that actual candy cab experience not to say it's a candy cab okay I've, I've made that clear it's not a candy cab replacement but you still for a cheap price then what you pay for a candy cab, you know, four to five thousand dollars, you can still get a nice sit down experience with a true four by three dimension screen, 26 inches. I mean, that's pretty nice. And if you were just hardcore and bought the benches as well, kudos to you. I didn't go that far. I just bought the machine, but I didn't buy the benches. But if you bought the benches as well, I know you really, really want your machine because you spent more money than most. And if I could afford it, I probably would. So I just stuck with the machine. Just a note, guys, I'm thinking we're going to get the machine probably, and this is my guesstimation here, because like I said, I don't have, I'm not big time, I don't have communications with those guys, but I feel like they're going to have the machine probably first week of September, we'll start seeing them. From what I've seen, there's a picture online, that could be bogus, but there was a machine in, I want to say Kansas City or something like that, I saw a picture online. How true it is, I don't know, but I do think we're going to start seeing our first bit of candy cabs roll out around the first week or two of September. So I wish I had more information for you guys. That's all I got. I wish I had more information, but I don't. But I just want to encourage you guys, just hang out a little bit long for those candy. Now, if they start saying like, you know, October, we still don't got our machines. Yeah, then we're going to have some problems. But I think that they've been really, really trying to do the right thing. And they're reputable. They've had machines in the past. And I feel like they're going to deliver. But I feel like they're going to deliver with this product that they've been, you know, taking extreme care with, taking our feedback on. And I feel like it's going to, um, in the end, it's going to be definitely worth the wait. So that's all I got for you guys today. And as always, please like, subscribe, comment. Those things help the channel grow. And thank you guys for, so much for watching the video. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. Just short and sweet and to the point. With that said, take care of yourself. God bless you. Protect you in peace. And we'll catch you on the next one.